All right, welcome back, everyone. So we are on episode seven of John and Eric the Slayer's adventures into White Run about Skyrim. One of the things I'd like to show off, which I, I just showed it off, but I'll do it again, is that I have hotkeyed the ability to switch armor sets. So it's using the uh, F1 and F2 keys. So here is the the magic set we have, so that we can more easily cast uh, Mage Cloak and everything like that. We had a bug where we weren't able to do it with our full armor, but now we have a really quick, easy hotkey that we can use without me having to fumble through the inventory to get this done every single time. Let's see. So we're we're camped out, White Run. It's uh, it's my time. It's around 11:30 at night. Get some stuff, Eric. Do you have any? Looks like Eric's ready for bed. Right? It just feels right somehow. Before you, you go, you Eric. Do? do you have any stuff I need to take? No, he has all our axe and our pick. Uh, some other good stuff. Do we want to hand him over? else valuable no we have to go into town and sell all of these and what else no eric doesn't have anything else clogging up let's get going then so it looks to me like our best bet's gonna go to sleep wake up tomorrow and head right into town so do do eight hours that'll give us 7 30 and all the uh shops will open at 8 a.m mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hey, a survival skill is increased. There, nice. And then, I think our beef stew ra uh, ran out. Fine. Let's see. Oh yeah, I wanted to quickly open up our skills here too, because I believe we've unlocked a perk, right? Um, yeah, we did. We literally just unlocked a camping. Perk. Uh, one perk right there. Have we unlocked the first one there? Rank zero, so no, we have to start here, right? Uh, campfire's light, seven seconds faster. That. All right, so we have the first one done. What else? We, so we did the first one here. Do we have another perk? We do. Area weight is increased by 30, ooh. So we could throw it in there and just immediately increase our carry weight further. However, we might want to work towards some of these up here. Ambient temperature warms you 25% faster. Stamina regen is increased by 15% when well fed. While well rested, magic redemption when you use. Uh, when quenched, stamina is increased by 15. And then the, these are like the, the actual food items restore more, which which isn't really that fantastic. Um, it's, it's the ones at the top, and then it's the one right here at the bottom. I don't know what this is by default, if it's like 15 or by 30. Honestly, I, I think we might increase our carry weight, just because that's right now more applicable. So... There we go, it looks like... How much did that increase by? It might have been like... 5, I think. <laughs> that's fine. Now, now it's fully perked out, so... I'll take it. I'll still take it. And then anything right here? Nope, we need to go up into the cold in order to get that rock in a loop. So, unlocked all of our campfires, um, campfire perks. One hour left, we might be able to get some salvaged wood out of this. No unspent wood to reclaim, that's fine. Let's go. Sprint right up to the top. Sell all of our cloaks. What do we have for uh, journals to do? Uh, we have to go punch Beth and Riverwood. It's kind of funny. Um, we also have a potion to deliver. Let's see. Fine Airman Sword and Valtheim Towers, and then Silent Moon's Camp. Right. So we will continue to push the Companion's quest lines. Just because doing the uh, the very first one where we discover their secret will be whoa that is not looking too good, right? be very lucrative for us. Actually, you know what that did? I was over encumbered until I took that uh, perk that increased our carry weight. So so it was probably worth it. Let's see. Oh, ooh, ooh. hello. Good to see you. Oh, thank you. There you go. Divines bless your kind heart. Let's see. I don't think we have anything to sell here. We can double How's check. How's it going? Hmm. Blades, helmets, 
pretty much anything to suit their needs. Uh, no, looks like we found a bunch of silver arrows, though, so I'm pretty happy about that. We can officially fight the undead now. Yeah, we'll just sell that. Um, probably shouldn't have. Hmm. Seems pretty good. Good luck out there. And then we are gonna run right into here sell all of our cloaks, because this is better than selling them just to the general store. One of the perks of having a magic shop. Need something? Yes. Take a look. I need to... Ooh, I need, does he have anything? Good. Oh my god, a frost rune? He has frost runes! These are so freaking powerful. They can basically insta-kill stuff, right? Like wipe out everybody's stamina? Yes, please. What the heck? Right? Um, we'll take the, the Spirit Wolf, too, just because if we're ever dealing with any really powerful mage, uh, not mages, but, um, archers, great solution, right? We're not, uh, beyond using those, right? And novice robes, we'll keep the expert ones. All these, nice speech level up. And we go, do, 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 do. nice. Oh, 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 wait, um, look. I almost made this mistake. If you see, we have two of these cloaks. So, and they're, they weigh kind of a lot. So, Eric already has one. Excellent. Any of these that we can kind of get rid of? Oh, he's, he's out of gold. We all right then. <laughs> oh, we took all his gold. That's awesome. We're up to 9,000 gold. I checked right before we went through the tour. So we're going to be buying Eric a horse. That's right. Almost forgot about that. Is there anything else we have to do here? We can see if there's any other quests on the board. Let us see. Riften, Raven Rock, Fugitive in East March, Thief in the Pale. Here's another quest to kill the leader of Valheim Towers. I think we're gonna take this because now we have two for Valheim Towers here. You can see the sword and killing the leader of Valheim Towers, so that that's probably Probably definitely worth it. We're gonna quickly head to Riverwood. We're gonna complete those quests. And then, we're gonna ride on back and see what we get for the companions. Look at how far young John has come. Right, it's it's pretty crazy. I, um, I wish I had the date, the start date when uh when skyrim starts because that would be really great to see how many in-game days it's been it's uh the second of hearthfire and i think the fourth of Hearth hearthfire is whatever um whatever the the festival is called that i just can't remember right the uh spooky scary festival oh crap i don't think he has any more horses we can buy we're gonna have to go to another city in order to buy Eric a horse. Um, we might... Should we tell Eric just to kind of wait here? Or should we... Drive all time towers? Good. What's that? What, what, what the heck is Beth doing? Why is she so far away? Huh. Well, Eric, Eric will keep up, right? We told Eric that we're gonna be delivering this potion and he'll catch up with us. We'll figure out what Beth is doing too. Oh, look at the mount. Very nice. Here, we're gonna go up and cut through here. So, zig, zig and zag up the mountains. And if we come across any wolves, um, I don't know, I guess we'll bring them with us, right? We'll just skin them. No, that's not a shot. What were you? That is like the third time that I've seen them delivering cows. Yep, there's Eric. I still want to get Eric a horse, though. I mean, it's just, it's its only right. 
I would... Oh, the other thing I want to do is make some more potions. That was the biggest thing. How are... Just a quick check. How are we doing on our food box? We have three beef stew and two mammoth tomato stews. So we're, we're good. For now. We're good. Sometimes it'd be nice to have fast travel, but then every now and then, man, some of these random events just completely change the game. So... Let us see. So the uh, the quest marker was was helpful. It's just back telling us where it is. What did Beth do? I don't know. She's she wanders around quite a bit, right? Huh? Huh? Have a potion. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Um. Need something? How has your day been? Can you uh train no, us? I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free Wait to shop. Uh, did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh, really? I could help get it back? Could? I've got some we're expert adventurers. Shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, Good. if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. So this is your plan, Lucan? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Sounds good. Bleak Falls Barrow, north of town. Yeah, we know where that is. It's right there. Beth. All right, so what we'll do is, uh, we, why don't we pass through Helgen, right? And then head over to, uh, Falkreath, because that's apparently where Beth is. Let's say we overheard that, right? We're asking around, where's Beth? Say, oh, we have to go to Falkreath, that's where she is. So, we'll pass through Helgen. That sounds like an adventure. We have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here, though. The mountain just over the bridge. Oh yeah, look at there, you can see it. Pretty cool. No, we have we have places to go, sorry. Sorry. Get to stop by the alchemist up here, and then we'll be off. Such an adventure just to deliver a, a what what is it, a letter to Beth, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Only the best, of course. <laughs> he said Hello. it right back. Um, what do you got? Right, those are kind of ridiculously expensive. Any, any valuable, expensive ingredients that are super rare that we can take? Um, your heart. Ooh, frost salts. Giant's toe. Yeah, we'll grab one of those, and we'll probably eat it. Oh, mammoth hearts. Powdered mammoth tusk. Isn't this kind of rare? Remember how to make it. Salmon rose, valuable. We know that. Take care. We're just gonna low key eat this giant's toe and the powdered mammoth tusk. Ah! We are hungry, aren't we? Oh, uh, I want our effects. Yeah, hungry and parched. Why don't we fix that right now? We're definitely going to need a beef stew. That'll get us through Helgen. Ah, I was supposed to be doing, uh, craft a few potions. I needed my ingredients off of the horse. That's why I was here. Does he actually have, yeah, he has an alchemy station right back. Uh, I mean, we could use the one in the inn, but I wanted to see what he had for sale. Craft a few. Uh, give me all of my wheat. And what do we have for health? Right, um, blue mountain flower, right? All of those. We have, I'm trying to remember what's really good for 
health. Um, a charge skeever hide. It's a good one. Stool was less impressive than I remember it being, but. Oh, uh, Monarch Butterfly Wings. That's what I'm supposed to be looking for. Right? Yeah, we have, because we have a million of them. Here we go. And we'll see what the best ones we can make it are. Out of all that. Because the order that you put the ingredients in matters tremendously. We would do the monarch wing and these. All right, so that's six points. Um, this is also six points. This. See, I just swatched, you know, swap them there and it's only three. Um, ooh, no, that's kind of hot garbage. I think this is pretty good. The monarch wings and blue mountain flowers. So we'll do uh, six of these. Anything else we have here? Water breathing? Oh yeah, well, charge skeever hiding. Okay. We'll just quickly craft that and sell it. Everything you see here. We probably have some other uh, other of these that we can sell. Yeah, we don't need like six leads. I think. Three should be sufficient, right? Goodness, look how many healing potions we have now. Excellent. Potion of water breathing? We have a necklace of water. Oh, no, this is the potion we just made. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, it's perfect. We don't need a small animal bone. We'll uh, keep those. Hope to see you again. Oh, uh, shift. That's what I wanted to do. And we're going to create... Oh, my God, which one is it? Um... Is it... I think it's... Kinnereth? No, her scene that does stamina. So we'll, we'll craft uh, two of those. I'd craft more, but I might be wrong, so. Excellent. How much time did I waste on my uh, my beef stew? Like, like two minutes. We'll be fine. Let's take that. And that should help with stamina recovery, and we'll do a quick test, right? Yep. Blessing of RK, beef stew, gift of charity. Am I still thirsty? I'm still thirsty. Okay. Excellent. So we will quickly pass through Helgen and head to Falkreath. Let's, uh... Yeah, where, where is she? Super weird. Here, we'll put on our auto walk, and we will fast forward to where we're entering Helgen. Let's make it a little easier. Whoa! Ah! The hell? And, and who? Dang, man. Ugh. What the heck's going on here? Hacking my horse? You want some revenge? There you go. Sanctif <laughs> Sanctify the body a little bit. Oh, that's weird. Well, that was super strange. But we'll take all of the uh, the leather and like that, right? Two wolves just kind of chilling here. Great, let's take them. Okay. A little coat. Oh, there always greases. Eric wants some money. Here you go. Send it home to your father. I think we are going to take all of the uh, the iron gear, and we're just gonna break it down. So, there's the iron, there's the iron. Leather straps, more leather straps. I don't want to break down my cloak. Uh, and there's the battle axe. Yeah, we, we are going to break down the battle axe. Excellent. 
Now we store all these. And the two wolf carcasses. Excellent. I saw this random sharp rock that I found that I, I'm keeping on my inventory because I like it. No other explanation. Oh yeah, that was the cloak that we just grabbed. Okay, excellent. That just random bandit attack, right? Oh, um, now would be a perfect time to switch over to our robes and give Eric here a healing aura. There we go. That's gonna be pretty good for you. We'll keep the robes on just because we wanna make sure that we can get our own healing aura. Gonna help us a lot. And maybe, I, I don't think I'm gonna put one on the horse. The horse will just run away, right? That'll be fine. Switch back to our normal armor. Oh, so much easier, it's so wonderful. Excellent. And of course, the reason we're gearing up is because we heard that Helgen was attacked. We don't really know how bad it is up there, but it's well to be careful. Oh, a bunny. Everything seems pretty peaceful. Except for the burned bodies outside. Two effigies. That's never a good sign. Our horse. Oh my goodness. This place is a disaster. Oh. Oh! All right. Have to be careful I don't accidentally kill Eric. Anyone else? Whoa! That was pretty simple. Where? Eric. Okay, I hear them. They must be on the other side somewhere. Maybe this way? How do we get there? Oh, I missed. And these guys are chumps. I was expecting a little more. Gotta be honest. All right. We're gonna do a little bit of looting and cleanup from out here, and uh, I'll report anything that we find that's interesting. Okay, we look, look, it's Beth. We found her. Beth is one of, one of the Such wandering, powers. like, traitors. I've been sent to resolve a dispute. Hold on, we we need Until to do a quick save on this, because this might go really weird with all the followers. What do you need? You can't scare me into submission. How are they Let's able go. to pass through here without causing the, um... Let's see what you're made of. Other NPCs to, to trigger. There we go. He's king. Okay. Oh, that was stressful. Oh, we got it. That snow back to the ground. Come on. on, he's not so tough. Wow, Eric. 
Damn. You're tougher than you look. You know what you have to do. I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. All right, we we're gonna go back to looting the place. We had to interrupt because she was literally passing through White uh, or uh, Helgen. So we're gonna go back to looting, and then I'll report everything. So, what did we end up getting? Uh, about lots of iron, a little bit of steel, some fur plates, leather, a bunch of leather strips, right? I think we did end up finding a, uh, a flawless peridot, if I remember correctly. Otherwise, nothing really out of the ordinary, so lots of iron, some steel. Nothing exceptional. But now, now we can go inside. That is where the fun happens. Well... We weren't really planning on looting this place. What do you think? Do we... Do we have enough time? I say we might as well. We're level, level 10. We'll, uh, we'll do our best to take on the spiders outside. I'm going to take all these. We might end up having to use our, our scrolls and everything else. And we are definitely going to have to empty our inventories here because we won't very easily be able to get access to our horse and storage. This is where things are going to get a lot more interesting. Break these down later. Iron swords, too. So, and Eric will be carrying a lot more stuff. We haven't handed a single thing to Eric. It's all been put on the horse. Let's pick this one. There's sometimes some other supplies in here. This, actually, since this is lining up, we might pick both, just because we need the experience. Oh, well. We, in we entered, and we got a level up, which is good, too. Yeah. Ah. I think John and Eric have a little discussion. They agree that, you know, anything left in here at this point is fair game for taking. Hello. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take all this. Oh, it was an iron battle staff. The iron stuff, I'm, uh, not taking too much Just of feels right, right now. Somehow. What do you need? And once once we're over encumbered, that's when we can start to worry about uh, all the inventory management ridiculousness. If there's any way I can be of service, please. Let me... if there's anything else in here? Sprint on over. I don't know what we're gonna find. It's been a long time since I've raided through here. The place honestly looks empty. We're gonna t we're gonna take all the antlers. I've never really looked up top there. Cool. Can we? No, we can't loot the bear. Can we take the bear? No. Oh. Yep, and we'll we'll ignore all of the uh, the iron and all that other stuff. This seems to be oh to say seems to be holding up pretty good oh no submit only die good job Eric Uh, we're, we're not gonna worry about the wood right now, right? Please. Oops. Sneaking around all the bass. Whoa! That's a nice weapon. And a white cloak, too. Steel furred plate cures. Yeah, we're gonna hand all these to Eric. See if he likes them. At first, I thought I'd miss one. Of course. All right, uh, do you like that? Can't tell if you switched over to it.
Let's see. What's what's he wearing now? Uh, yeah, he switched to it. Very nice. We can probably upgrade our helmet, though. Um, yeah, this is slightly better than the one that we're wearing. Let's see, is any of this better than what we have currently? And he's still using his, uh... Let me know if you need it. Very fashion, right. Uh, our, our helmet was okay, but this is definitely an upgrade. Oh my goodness. That is super intimidating. We're not going to use the white cloak, because it doesn't match our armor. <laughs> if And that is a legitimate reason, okay? Do not deny... That is totally a legit reason. Ooh, my goodness. Stops poison. Armor reading. Fortify armor. A potion of fortify armor. I didn't know that. Oh my god, these are amazing. There's three of each of them. What the heck? Dang. Dang, son. Oh, craftsman's manual. I'll grab one of those. What else? What else we got here? Crossbow. Eh of these, right? We'll take your uh, happy eggs here. We don't really need a rabbit. Okay. Nice. We're, in, we're still at full health, too. What? <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck was that? Ah! Holy crap! I totally missed these guys! Oh. Oh. We almost died! Oh. Holy crap, I dropped my guard. That could have ended really badly. So we're looking at like 150 health, right? Like a healing cultist, and then basically this, right? Or, or uh, we'll probably use all of our, our crude potions because we have the time, but wow. Okay, torture tools, thanks. Goodness. I was I was busy looking at this guy like hey look at this and then he came out of nowhere. Ooh, blowing pot here. Just gonna take the whole pot. We'll drop the bucket. Uh, wooden. Wow. Oh, we can't take it. We have to open. What? <laughs> uh. Oh, we almost missed the venom there. Torturer's guy. That's actually a pretty expensive book. Yeah, it was the the uh, he was positioned as a as a setup, right? Let's see. Any of these? Take these. Take that. Lots of mead. It's a skill book, I think. What else? Shields. Goat. Yeah, I'll take the goat horns. And we're very quickly going to consume those new ingredients we found. Corvin oil, hawk feathers, slaughterfish egg, spider egg. Look, I'm already back at... How am I already back at full health? Oh, the healing aura. I was like, how am I already back at full health? Here, so what I'm going to do is we have, um, I believe, four, four different locks here to open. So I'm very quickly going to just go through all of them. So we're going to skip forward to me doing that. So snap. Okay. Then we're back. So there we uh we got a level up, right? Looks like they they purged a lot of the a lot of the good loot out of here. What anything in here? No. Random scalpel. Oh, I forgot to loot this guy too. Uh sick like a wolf on us. Oh, that's there. <laughs> and there was nothing in, in either of those. So, alright. Moving right along. 
um, a bit more cautiously now, right? No. <laughs> we need the XP. We really need the XP. Hey, we got another level up and a total level. Nice. That's why it's worth it, right? Because that took, oh, it, it took like a minute, you know, it was still a pain in the butt, but more health. Now we have a perk. So what shall we put it into? Probably block It's gonna be a good one. Um, we, we could invest into our armor though. Might be a good idea. Yep, I think we are going to invest into this to do 20% um, more damage and minus 50% uh, weight and health. Pretty good. Anything on the skeleton? Nope. Oh, we got a flawless amethyst out of that. I didn't really check to see if there was anything down here. I, I didn't really see anything. Oh, just a, just a skeleton butt. All right, moving right along. Get our weapons out. Oh. All right. Oh. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. I'm worried about the spiders that are definitely. That, that we definitely don't know are coming up. We're hungry? All right, we need to take care of that. They'll, they'll never hear me coming. Oh, okay. Uh, do we have our bow? Quickly take... What's that? I can't freaking see anyone. Um, so we're gonna switch back to the Orcish Greatsword and run on in! You missed! Is that everyone? No. Nope. There's one more. One more guy. <laughs> Eric, you really ought to be more accurate with your with your big flailing power attacks, bro. You don't get that many of those. Here, we'll we'll take care of these just really quickly because they ex I think they expire after like sixty seconds. It's really fast. What is this? I don't remember this here. Yo, there's a loot chest! Amulet of Xanathar, Dwarven Mace, Opal Necklace, some healing poultices. Yeah, we'll take that, right? Staff of Storm at It's 12. What the heck? It's worth 12,000 gold? 12,000 gold. 12,000 gold. Summons a storm atronach. Okay. Eric! Eric! <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, it just feels right. Be sure to put it to good use. Here, Eric, do you want this mace? Ugh. Oh, I realized that uh, I haven't properly favorited that. What the heck? Wow. Anything else? Oh, goat horn. Random goat horns. So we'll we'll quickly loot. Uh, we'll we'll see what everybody else has. If there's anything else super interesting here, nah. It looks like more iron stuff, and then uh, 
more body over here, right? Yeah. Elven helmet, nice. Some other decent potions. What was that? Oh, my, uh, Turkish arrow. So, update. We, originally I was going to end when we found that staff, but I've decided that we're going to push forward. Just because we have five minutes left on the beef stew. And it looks like we won't be able to cross back across this bridge. Eric, can you? Don't get crushed, Eric. Whatever you do. No? No rocks fall? No rocks fall. Nice. We have five minutes to kill some spiders before our beef stew runs out. Oh boy. Something sees us. Oh, okay. Careful, Eric. Eric, where's your healing aura? Eric, where's your healing aura? Alright, so we're gonna very quickly if like cause if this this is gonna be you know, I'm I am afraid right now. Basically. This is gonna be rough. These things, they'll knock you down, they'll beat the crap out of you. You need to be ready. That means healing auras for both of us. I might start combat with a potion. Just to make sure nothing ridiculous goes wrong. Or, or even if our beef stews were to run out, um, that would be catastrophic too. How much longer do we have? 3 minutes and 30 seconds? I think we can finish them in that time. We are going to have to hurry. Anything else? That's it? Oh. Okay. That wasn't that bad. I was expecting a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. <laughs> Eric looked pleased with himself. Oh. Oh! Oh, I, I failed. Now I've been poisoned. Oh, my armor? Oh, no! Oh, my God, I ran in. I ran in wearing robes. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. Okay. That could have been really bad. Also, it didn't switch to my helmet because I uh, got a new helmet. Wow. Wow, wow. <clears throat> yep, and this, so this just killed our beef stew, right? No, it didn't. Um, yeah, we don't really need any of the uh, small bones or animal venom or anything else like that. We will take, that is a lot of spider eggs. Take the spider eggs, though. And and the bear isn't, you know, gonna be a... Yeah, I basically ran in naked. That is a lot of... Sp wow. Let's see if this guy has anything. Beaver tail. You ever just go into a cave and, and find, like, a wrapped-up skeever tail and be like, Oh, you know, I'm just I'm just so hungry that... I'd, I'd love to munch on that and... You know, for, for science. I have no idea what we're gonna do with, oh, that is horrifying. Um, with this many of these, but we definitely have a lot of them now. Oh, there my beef stew just ran out. What happened? It just feels right, so no 
problem? How can I help? Eric, here, can you hold all of these spider eggs that I found? <laughs> well, there we go. That was the bulk of the weight. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Eric. Here, we're still gonna do the... All right, Eric, you tank them, and I'll flank them. What was that? Oh, and a wolf? Wow. Yeah, you, you go take care of that, Eric. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> That wolf took one look at me and was like, oh no, this, th nope, nope. No, thank you. Oh, if we can get some extra antlers and stuff here. Skulls and whatnot. Nice. I say we go for harvesting the berries, why not? Anything down there? Ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. Hey, there's the black briar mead that we are supposed to be looking for. I love it when everything comes full circle. Yeah, Eric will get back eventually, probably. Ugh. I don't think we'll be able to uh, field... Oh, can we field dress in combat? Yeah, looks like we can. Nice. We'll harvest out our ingredients. I'm sneaking while I'm doing it. That's amazing. Wow, we got a lot of great ingredients out of that. Um, most of them we don't know the traits for, or, or I guess we do. Yeah, the bear heart we're going to have to learn. Consume the flesh of the animal. And we'll skin the pelt. And we are just... Barely not over encumbered. That is amazing. This should bring Eric uh, running towards us now. He, yep, he's right behind us. Good. Oh. Whoa! That is right. We need to be a lot more careful with tripping over bones and stuff because that'll rip your face off. What do you need? Eric, can you hold more of my wonderful ingredients that I looted everywhere? Let's get going, man. Find our way out. Yeah. So I was expecting those spiders to be like level 10. Not level one. And, uh, let's see, we want to go, yeah, I, I, I was pretty sure that's the way. It's up and to the right this way. Claim our horse. Oh, it's interesting how the, all the snow is here, but the uh, it shows the weather is warm. I don't know if it's going to show Helgen as clear, right? I don't think that's possible. But we did manage to clear Helgen. I think. Yeah, so so that is that. We uh, we made it. We made it through Helgen. We made it back, still alive, despite me forgetting to put on my armor, right? So we will bring everything back to Whiterun, and uh, so that's where we'll be starting off at the next episode, um, taking on a new quest from the companion. Continuing entrance. Let's show the staff. Yes, yes. Let us show the staff. 
the Staff of Storm Atronach. Summons a Storm Atronach 20 second. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. My goodness. That is definitely going to be our thumbnail, right? Uh, well, well, what, what do you think? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But simply amazing. Absolutely beautiful. I think we will. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you.